Okay, when we start in just a minute, we will actually be on this screen right here. But first, we're going to do a quick review. So, hopefully, if you're at home, you remember your AR verb endings are O, AS, A, AMOS, and AN. Like I said, this is just a review. Watch me real quick. Remember what's up. To work is trabajar. Last week we said to make a sentence negative, just say no. And I reminded you that the words don't and doesn't are negative, and the no comes right before the verb. So in the dentist doesn't work, that would be el dentista no. I have to take to work up here, drop the AR. I write trabajo right here. We go over here and it's okay. The dentist isn't over here, but he is singular. So this would be el dentista no trabaja hoy. Hoy is today. Then last week we also looked at questions. I reminded you that the do and the doesn't in a question, I'm sorry, the do and the does in a question is simply the upside down question mark. So does the girl study for this does? Upside down question mark. I'm now done with that. A lot of you guys messed this up on the bell ringer because you saw the girl. And so you put the girl next, but if you'll notice in the formula, it is the verb. So it's the verb first and then the girl in a question. If this wasn't a question, if it was just the girl studies today, then the girl could come first. So I've got to take estudiar, which is to study. I'm going to drop the AR. I'm going to say the girl is not over here, but she is singular right here. So estudia. And then I can put the girl, la chica, la niña, la muchacha, and then whatever's left, which happens to be hoy, which is today. All right, so we're going to go ahead and look at these notes for today. And if you'll notice, these are filled in because you should have filled these in last Thursday when you took notes. If you did not fill these in last Thursday, you need to stop the video and do that right now. These are question words, and in the notes last week, it said all question words have accents when they are actually used in a question. Like if you're going to say, who studies? Quien estudia? When do you work? Cuando trabaja? Why are you at home? Por que estas en la casa? So really quick, I'm going to go through and pronounce these. You should know how to pronounce these when you come back. We've got quien, que. Cuando, donde, por qué, remember that's two words, por qué, como, cuanto, C-U-A with an accent, N-T-O, if what you're asking about is masculine, like cuanto dinero tienes, or cuanta, if what you're asking about is feminine, like cuanta ropa hay en el armario, how much clothing do you have in the closet? If you're asking about something plural, how many, that would be cuantos, like cuantos chicos hay en la clase, or if you're asking about something feminine, cuantas plumas tiene la maestra. Last one is cual. Cual means which, usually when you have a choice, like cual prefieres, which do you prefer, chocolate o vanilla, chocolate or vanilla. All right, so we're going to learn how to add these question words. And basically, it's just what we did last week. The do and the does is still going to be the upside down question mark, okay? You're still going to follow the upside down question mark by your conjugated verb. That means you take off the AR and you add your O, AS, A, AMOS, or AN. That is then going to be followed by your subject. And I told you there were several subjects you did not have to use. Last week on the notes, we said the yo is opcional, that tu is opcional, and nosotros is opcional. So if you have those three words, you don't have to use them. They're optional. And then finally is the rest of the question, whatever is left. So this sounds crazy hard, but it's really not. All right, we see the do, and we know that it's a question. So we're going to go ahead and start with the upside down question mark. That takes care of that. Now I have a question word, all right? So your question word, if you have one, comes right here. And I should have put that first, but I wasn't thinking. So your question word is optional. You don't have to have one. 
You could have a question like we had last week, like this right here, do you do this? Does he work? Where there's not a who, what, where, when. But if you have one of these words in this box, it comes right after the upside down question mark. So I go up here and I say, okay, K is the word that I need. So K, that takes care of the what. Now I need my verb next. S to the R is to study. I'm going to drop the AR. I'm going to put it in the to form or the usted form. Let's put it in the to form. K is studias. That takes care of that. U, if I wanted to be informal form, would be two. And notice, it's on this list. I don't have to have it. If I want to use it, it goes there. K is studias two. So if I ask you, K is studias, what do you study? You would have to say, I study as studio, and then whatever you study, as studio English, as studio espanol, whatever. All right, let's do another one. We see it's a question, so I'm going to get rid of this does with an upside down question mark. I have a question word, so that goes next. My word for when is taqui. That would be a cuando. Remember, these all have acentos when they're in a question, so that takes care of that. All right, we have a new verb here. To watch is the verb mirar. Mirar is to watch. So to conjugate this, I will drop the AR and I will write near, all right? And because it's she, I will use my a. Now remember, these get inverted in a question. The mira goes here and the she goes here. She is ella. It is not on my list of optional subjects. So cuando mira ella takes care of all that. And then I just have la televisión. Or if you want to be lazy, you can call it la tele. That's the translation for TV. So la televisión is fine, or la tele is also fine. All right, we've got two more of these suckers to do, and then we are done. How much do I dance? Like how many hours a day? So I've got a question. I've got a do. Upside down question mark. How much? I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to say, okay. It could be cuanto. It could be cuanta. Because it doesn't say like, how much money, how much pizza do you eat, how much ice cream do you have in your freezer, because it's just how much do you do something, we'll use the masculine singular. Because we know in Espanol that's more important than the feminine. So I get cuanto, takes care of all that mess. To dance is bailar. I need to remember that in a question it goes like this. So I take bailar, I drop my AR, and I get bailo. And then if I want to include the yo, it would go right here. But I'm going to be lazy since it's on the list of subjects that I don't have to include, and I'm going to leave it off. Last one. How many books does he buy? I see it's a question. I'm going to get rid of the does. Upside down question mark. Now on this one, we're going to have to pay attention because the how many goes with books. And you've got to know that books are libros so that you know which, how many to pick. Would it be cuantos libros or cuantas libros? Because libros is masculino and plural, I will pick cuantos. I ran out of room. So cuantos libros is how many books. That takes care of all that. Now I'm going to invert the he and the by. You need to remember that to buy is comprar. You're going to drop your AR and you get compra. And then for he, it's not on my list right here that I can leave out. So he is L with an acento. Remember, L without an acento means the, and L con acento is he. So that is the notes on forming questions with question words today. Please remember on Conjugamos from now on, you need to take your screenshot before you click close or you'll have to go back and do it again and upload it. The site changed. There's no more my grades. There is a little thing that says grades, but when you click on those, there's nothing there. So before you close it, you will need to upload a screenshot. Some of you are trying to upload old screenshots. That's not good, no bueno, because yes, I can go back in and check your grade. And yes, when I'm going to put it in the grade book, I do that. So make sure you're honest and you get that work done. Adios.